I gave a talk on uh, specifically targeting BCO2 with a new agent called the ABT199 or also another name is venetoclax and acute myeloid leukemia. So this agent was developed uh, from the preclinical work uh, by my lab and the uh, lab of Tony Lutai and the Pharma Cancer Center. So the clinical trials that I summarized uh, um, included both relapse refractory AML trial with a single agent uh, venetoclax where it showed uh, uh, moderate activity with a response rate of, of about 19% in the heavily pretreated AML patients. But this was followed by a combination trial in the elderly frontline unfit for chemotherapy acute myeloid leukemia patients. Um, there were two separate trials, one with uh, low-dose cytarabine and another one with hypomethylating agents uh, being decidabine or azacitidine. And both trials uh, had a fairly <coughs> significant uh, high response rate uh, with about 53% in low-dose RSC combination and 60-plus uh, percent in uh, a hypomethylating agent uh, combination. Responses usually occurred after the one cycle of chemotherapy. The drug was very well tolerated uh, with acceptable uh, safety profile. Uh, so this now led to the um, planned phase three trials in acute myeloid leukemia, again, elderly, unfit for standard chemotherapy, where the, the combination will be randomized against what's considered to be standard of care, either hypomethylene agent or low-dose cytarabine trial. And uh, we're all sort of excited about this upcoming trials.